the Realma on the turn, blocked pretty much immediately though by Ia. Barcelona come again, bit of room to work here. The cross is a good one. Oh, it's gone in. Well, that wasn't supposed to happen. Bermudez has got it. And Barcelona lead in this final by a goal to nil. Reese Taylor will not be happy about that. And I'm not sure he meant it. He's beaten his man Bertrand there. Surely that's a cross. If it's not, it's one hell of a goal. Bertrand's corner. And it comes. And Mancien. And Rubio's there. And Chelsea just can't break through at the moment. Kamani again. And Gutierrez with a shot. Oh, that's a top save from Reese Taylor. That's a really good save from the young keeper. And he's kept his team in it. Gutierrez hit that very hard indeed. And Taylor's done really well. Mancien, good strength. Sorelma with him, but instead he's played a beautiful ball out there to Nano Afori. He's just about kept it in. Oh, and he's beaten his man as well. Afori's still going. Waiting for some help. Cleared in the end, is it? And Sawyer! Well, that's one of the best chances Chelsea have created in this match. And Lee Sawyer will be a little bit disappointed that he didn't make the keeper work. There were bodies there. 15 minutes left. Bermudez, oh, he's done well. And the header just over the bar from San Pedro. Strong run. Good work from Bermudez, the goal scorer. Mancien. Barcelona come again here. This could be trouble. Thankfully, though, the shot straight at Taylor. Quite an acute angle for Garcia in the end. Took it first time, though. Injury time. The four is up there. And Cummings is up there. And Rubio's out quickly. Oh, and it's cleared. And the follow up, too. Rubio saved that as well. Here's the corner towards Cummings. And Rubio is a busy goalkeeper. It's still not clear. He's dived on it finally. And I just wonder if that'll be it for Chelsea's chances in this final. Full time it is. It's been a fantastic tournament for Brendan Rodgers' youth side. Today, though, the joy is all Barcelona's that the Junior Blues can hold their heads high. All the way to the final, they've lost at the last hurdle. Barcelona have beaten Chelsea by goal to nil. I think you could see the level of performance today compared to the other four games was, was nowhere near it. And, uh, I said I was I was disappointed for the boys, um, as I said, because they've given so much this week, and, and then in the biggest game, we just looked fizzy. We just weren't sharp enough today. So, uh, but Barcelona, they, they can have no, uh, they could have, as I said, no embarrassment because they're a fantastic side. Lucky goal that won it. However, as I said, they're a very good side, Barcelona, and uh, thoroughly deserved it. I, think. I would probably bet any money that our squad was probably. You know, the lowest amount of numbers used in the whole tournament. Um, we, we were very young as it was anyway. You know, we had uh, we had uh, five 15 year olds playing in the final against what looked a very physically strong Barcelona side, you know. But that's the way it's been all week. It's a great experience, and uh, 
disappointing to lose, but to be a winner, you must be a good loser. I think now in terms of the development uh, worldwide, you know, teams like Barcelona and Porto and Benfica and CSK Moscow, when they're coming to tournaments like this, then we have to be in there competing against those to develop our future talented players. And um, I think everything on the pitch, off the pitch has been terrific this week. And so uh, a massive success, you know, which is great. And so a trip that far outweighed expectations for all concerned. The players have grown in stature in such a short space of time, and yet we're essentially still in pre-season. One thing's for sure, Chelsea had left their mark on the 2005 Milk Cup.